In today's video, I'll be showing you how to properly warm up a bottle, so stay tuned. Hey sitters, it's Lydia. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because I will be sharing some bunch of tips on how to become a better babysitter. So hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can stick around and get notified every time I upload. So the first time I ever babysat, I didn't realize that um, milk had to be warmed up in a special way and it couldn't just be popped in the microwave, especially breast milk, because if you microwave it, um, it can break down the nutrition and the protein in the breast milk. So there's a different, there's a couple different ways to warm up breast milk or um, formula. And no matter which way you do it, you have to warm it up in a cup, a mug or, um, something that can hold hot water. So make sure you find a mug that um, fits your uh, bottle of milk in. Now, if the parents have a bottle warmer, that's the most efficient way to use to warm up a bottle is a bottle warmer. Um, now that how to use the bottle warmer, they set it on a certain temperature. Uh, so you need to ask the parents specifically what temperature they put it at and for how long. Now, if you don't have a bottle warmer and you have a kettle, I suggest you use this. This is very quick because it warms up water very quick, but cool down time is a lo little longer. Um, because this does get scolding hot, you don't want to put the milk in it, um, warm it up real quick and then give it to the baby. You need to make sure that it's cool enough for the baby to drink. And I'll talk about how to do that further into the video. So the first thing I do with this is that I um, make sure that I don't fill it up too much. I just need to put in the water that I am going to be using. I turn it on and then I wait until it starts to uh, boil or starts to make some noises. And I can actually feel the temperature on this thing. So if you can hear that, that means that it's starting to boil and I can tap it a little bit and I know that it's warming up. This thing works wonders. So after a few seconds, I can pop it off and then it's ready to go. And I don't have as much cooling time on the back end. I can just put it in there, set it for a few minutes and then get ready to give it to the baby. So after it's warmed a little bit, um, I'm going to keep the bottle in the mug because if I pour it without the bottle in there and then I go to put the bottle in, then it'll overflow and I can end up burning myself. But if I keep the bottle in and make sure you keep your hand on top because this does float. Um, and then I pour in the water. Just to where it's over the milk so that it's all getting warm. And then I set a timer for about a minute or two and come back and check it. So once it's been a minute or two, I end up pulling it out and the water in there has cooled off and this is had, um, getting room temperature now. And to check if a baby bottle is warm enough, you want to put the milk on your wrist, on the inside of your wrist because it's the most sensitive part. And that way you could tell if it's um, warm enough or too cold, too hot for the baby to drink. So you just put it on your wrist like that now, if you can feel that it's too cold, or if you can feel it, then it's not warm enough. Um, and then if obviously it's too hot, it's obviously going to be burning you and you'll know as well. So um, this one's actually good. It is room temperature and it, I will be able to give it to the baby. So the second way of um, warming up a bottle without using a kettle is in the microwave. So what I do is I put the bottle of milk in a mug I then go to the sink and fill up the mug with water and then I remove the bottle because we never want to put the bottle in the microwave and then I take the mug and I pop it in the microwave for a minute. Then I take out the mug, check the water temperature to see if it's actually going to be hot enough to warm up some milk and if it's not I pop it back in for another 30 seconds until it's actually warm. Then I go ahead and put the bottle in the mug and I let it sit for about a minute and come back to check it. Now, when I do check it, um, again, it'll be on my wrist. So it's, I'm feeling for the temperature on whether or not the baby can actually drink it. 
And then if it's not, um, I also want to shake it, shake it to make sure that the temperature mixes, make sure there's not any hot spots or cold spots within the milk. And then also if it's breast milk or formula, um, they, breast milk tends to separate sometimes and so does formula. So by shaking it, you get everything back together and um, drinkable. Um, most of the families will have a way to warm up the bottle, but um, if the family doesn't have a mug or you can't find the bottle warmer or you can't find a mug that fits the bottle, um, this is last resort, but you can run it under hot water with the sink running. I know it's a water waste, um, but you do need to feed that baby at the end of the day. So um, running under hot water will be your last resort. Again, never, ever, ever put a bottle of milk in the microwave directly. Always use um, a mug of hot water to warm it up. So once the baby is done drinking the milk out of the bottle, um, I would highly suggest that you wash the bottle or at least rinse it out because um, it does get gross if you don't. Um, so there's a bunch of different parts that I'm going to show you. So you have the cap for it. You have the actual bottle. So it's just a bottle. And then the top has a couple pieces to it. So it has um, this piece has this piece that you need to clean and then this nipple part comes out and you clean both of these pieces and you want to take everything apart because milk can get into these little cracks and crevices and um, really get smelly and stinky if you don't wash them so please 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 make sure you wash the bottles when the baby is done using them and it doesn't have to be right away but if the baby goes down for a nap you can go ahead and take a minute to wash it out it doesn't take that long um, so there's all the pieces to it. If the baby does not finish the bottle, I would highly recommend you ask mom and dad what they would want you to do with the bottle. A lot of my families that have babies and if the baby doesn't finish the milk, it's not good to put it back in the um, fridge for later. They just kind of say toss it out. It's not good to rewarm already warmed up breast milk or formula. Um, I think actually it's more towards breast milk that's not good to warm back up. Uh, but again, it's all dependent on what the family likes and doesn't like for their child. So make sure you ask them what to do with the bottle if the baby doesn't finish it. So if you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, please leave me them in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you gained something from this video. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.